What is up, you guys? It is the Tokyo Tote Pack from Bellroy. Now, let's talk about casual professionalism, all right? When you're professional, but you're casual about it. You know, there's a big difference, subtle, but big, <laughs> between I'm easygoing and I wear sweatpants and slippers out in public. That is what this tote pack wants to be in our life. Some place where we get to manage our professionalism in a casual kind of way. Now it's going on our business backpacks page at Matterful where we're collecting all of the best sort of business backpacks, things like this. This is definitely going on there because of that, you know, the casualness, but still the professionalism. I mean, some of you are looking at this and you're like, what do you mean professional? But I love bags like this that help us do our professional thing without being, you know, oppressively formal. There's nothing like being able to, you know, for me personally, I just like to keep it casual. I want to keep it casual, but I also want to look professional. So it means from the ankles up, I look like a homeless person, but from the ankles down, I'm, I look like a, like a homeless person that had some shoes donated. Okay, casual, professional aesthetics here. First thing to note, this is a result of, it's, uh, it's slimlined. It's not too big. It's not a big old honking sucker. It's a tote bag and a backpack. These are removable, tell you about that in a second. And as such, it allows you to have a bit of that, you know, ne'er-do-well, lackadaisical, layabout, flaneur kind of vibe when you, you know, you're just holding, you're just like traipsing around. It's like the kind, it's like the modern day version of having a cane and just flipping it as if you just, they just, cane flipping is like, I have literally nothing to do right now. This woven fabric that they use is, when I, I love this material. It's really burly, it's really, um, it's really rugged, it's really water resistant, it's dirt, it's like abrasion resistant, all that stuff, but, it drapes kind of well. It still, it looks like a an actual bag, whereas if this was made out of like just nylon, it would be too thin and it would just like Meh. And if this was made out of something, I mean, you can see how the bag stands up. There's nothing hard in it. It's really just a few p panels of padding and then the material is making it stand up. But I like the way that it drapes. Even when it's packed out pretty good, it can still have a sense of uh, a, a, like a classy kind of vibe. Leather accents here, give it some pop, the zipper pulls. It just looks like a kind of a, 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 looks like a functional, simple but functional kind of bag. Has a nice streamline, uh, you know, streamline silhouette on the body. Should put it on for you. But really, I just love bags like this that allow us to, us working stiffs who have like actual jobs somewhere and they got bosses to it. You know, it's like, hey man, we can't all make goddamn YouTube videos in our fucking basement. But it's nice to have something that's like a big boy or a big girl bag, because this is great for my ladies out there. Great to have a big boy, big girl bag, but then also it's kind of, it's, it's just totally fits going out to the park with some friends for lunch. Okay, so casual, professional aesthetics. Thanks, Belroy. Stow away straps, okay? Listen, here's the deal. You got a little clippy dippy down here, and these things just come off. The straps are great. You've got just a little bit of, of, uh, of stuff here, but it actually stretches out pretty far. Some of you, I think, will wish you had like longer straps. I wouldn't be surprised. Every body is different, right? And so, uh, just meaning to show you here that these fold away, and so you don't have to have this stuff hanging out, so you can really go for the tote look. Where they fold away to is kind of nice too. It's just this, this nice padded little back thing, which I actually have used a couple times just to throw something in, like a little, if you have a flat book, books can fit down here real easy and it's just up against your back and it's like a little secret place. It's also a place for your business papers, man. You can also <laughs> double front pockets. Both the zippers are on the left here. You zip them up to close them and down to open them. Inside we have a key thingy for clipping on your keys on the left one. That's left right now. My left as I look at this. Oh, it's gonna be your right. Oh, what are we gonna do about that? I'll do it like this. Okay, so on the left one, <laughs> I'm just kidding. And inside this one, there's no internal organization. Inside this one, there's one little mesh sort of pouch 
up at the top that actually it has like an open it's an interesting pocket because okay so it has an opening up here and then the pocket goes down a little bit more from that so you could get longer items in like these glasses which this is perfect for by sliding them down and then you're they're kind of out of the way they're held up and you have the the rest of this pocket to use size of this pocket wise Here's Bellroy's uh, classic pen pouch thing. It's about the size of one of those, right? That gives you a little, a little visual identification of the size. These pockets are both designed for on body, swing, access. Now I'm into my shit, got it. What will you put in those things? Here's what I do. I go, uh, I've got all my shit out here that I'm gonna take with me. Okay, so I have a little a battery that is charging over there. So I'm, I'm gonna put that in here, and then I'm gonna put my Jabra uh, in ear earbuds. A big review is coming on the earbuds soon. Actually, it might already be out. I don't know. It's coming soon. I'm testing earbuds, and so I'll put those guys there, and maybe I'll put the earbuds. I, this is the challenge with this with these two front pockets. You really gotta figure out what you're doing with these. The only limit, the only delimiters of, of like, is that you have an internal mesh sort of up against the wall on this one, and this one has the key loop. Let that be your guidance for what you put where, but uh, if my glasses are going in here because I like that the glasses case is pulled off, I'll make this my like sort of like my personal daily sort of items, okay? Which means the little plastic thing that I use to occasionally put in a marijuana cigarette. Uh, we'll go in there. I don't think I can get my other smoke pouch in there, but that's a good place to start. Then I put my battery in here. Anything else that I got? I think that's basically it that I'm putting in these outer pockets. What's great about these things is you've got external access. You've got on-body swing access to both sides. The only question is, what are you going to put in them? The interesting size. It's not quite as large as some of us would want. Like, it'd be awesome to get some of these things out from the inside of the pack and up against the outside. But they, it's you, you'll be limited by the size. But you're looking at the size right there. I mean, I wouldn't recommend... I don't think you can get a water bottle in, for example. Here's my Camelback Shoot. 70, like three quarters of a, of a liter, best water bottle in the world. Let's see if we, yeah, we can't get it through the the opening. And you wouldn't really want that necessarily. Anyways, I'll show you there's some water bottle pockets inside. <laughs> Solid internal organization. There's a 15 inch laptop sleeve on the back here. Here's that laptop sleeve right there on the back. You see that? We've got some nice little soft stuff there and then a big padded this guy is kind of padded this this is such nice detail from Bellroy inside here then you see this this is the opposite it's not that nice of a detail it's a little uh tablet pocket with just the slimmest littlest nylon thing that separates it I kind of wish it was just a little bit better material not that I but like I I put my iPad in there uh, my 11 inch iPad Pro, which I literally live on. I take notes on anything that's important to me on this guy. And it fits perfectly in there and it just, you know, is held against the wall by that thin piece of nylon. Okay, so on the bottom panel or the back panel where the laptop and the tablet go, that's it. It's just those two things. Then you see that leather pull tab right there? And you see that one right there? Well, this one's actually open. These are their pop pockets which you can, which you just kind of push out or push against the wall. They push out or push against the wall. Now, my 75, 0.75 of a liter, whatever. Camelback shoot, plastic water bottle, put a link to this below. This is the best water bottle in the world, magnet in the lid. In fact, I'm gonna take a drink right now because when's the next time you're gonna have potable water when you're, well, you're probably in a city or something. Screw that little thing on, doesn't come loose. Then I can flip it right in the side thing, not too shabby. Getting it in and out does take a little bit of focus. All right, you gotta be focused. You have that kind of pop pocket on either side. So umbrella and uh, yeah, I think it's really designed for umbrella and that for you people who aren't from the Northwest who actually still use umbrellas like <laughs> New York. It's adorable. Then you can see that zipper on the top there. That is one of their great mesh, mesh zippers. This is the kind of thing that I, I want to get my wife an outfit out of for when mommy and daddy have their friendship time. 
that would be a good material for a bodysuit, you know, but it just feels great. I love the mesh in this thing. I, I love the, Belroy's product selection is, or, or material selection rather, is, is always sensational. Top of the bag, you can see we've got a little like, oh, this bag was designed to move with you and through you, for you. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Then let's put the bag on the ground so you can get a sense of, of here is what you're looking at. When you're looking at the bag, you're looking at, you know, this, right? So stuff that goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag, and then two pop pockets, the back thing, the, the, the which is the laptop compartment, the, the tablet sleeve, and then the mesh pocket. Your front pockets are over here, zippers on the sides. On Belroy's website, they mentioned shoes. I think if you had really thin, minimal shoes, like really narrow, like sandals or something like that, that's totally great, which would be awesome for New York. You got your sneakers on, you're walking around, you got some nicer sandals in there or something. I don't know, do women wear sandals at New York corporate offices? 20 liter capacity. 20 liters, when a bag company says 20 liters, you never really know what you're gonna get. Sometimes it feels like, wow, this is bigger than that. Sometimes it feels like, whoa, this is a little tighter than that. I'd say in experience, for me, this thing feels tight. Your dream for this bag is you only need your laptop, maybe a tablet, a couple little pouches, water bottle. That would be awesome if that was it, right? Because this thing carries, it's just, it's just so it's so cute, it's so small, it's so comfortable, it's made with great materials, it's gonna last you forever, feels comfortable, looks casual and, st and stylish and professional, all that stuff. The thing is, is, once you pack this thing out a bunch, it can get a little bit, it can get a little bit less fun to use. And here's why, because you have stuff on the, I mean, if you've got your laptop and your water bottle and your, and like maybe even an umbrella or something else over there, I put my power adapter for my laptop in that mesh pocket. Then it's like, all right, check this out. This is their, uh, they have a, a dop kit. I don't know if this is new or old, but they sent me one and I'm using it for holding my Bluetooth speakers. I'll put a link below right now in the description this time code for my Bluetooth speakers, headphone, dead death match. Not Bluetooth speaker, it's Bluetooth headphones. Bluetooth headphones, dead, dead match. And they're all noise canceling too. I love the noise cancel. I love when I have, I live in a house with five kids. So uh, we're just, you know, you know what I mean? Just, I'm gonna fucking cancel that noise. But this is kind of interesting. It has a little, uh, a little, a nice magnet thing, pouch over here that like is just a side, it goes down halfway and that's for your toothbrush, I'm assuming. Then over here, you've got a couple, which reminds me of the of the Peak Designs uh, thing for sure. But the the other side has two of their mesh pockets. So I've got some cables in here. I got some little stuff that I need for my headphones, right? So I take my headphones. I just throw them in there at the bottom because I I'm like, you know, I just like to have my stuff. This is my little smoke sack, right? I'll throw that in there just with a little bit of cannabis and a, and a small little like one hitter, something to share with a buddy. But when I was, what I was doing just before is I had, I had taken all of these books. This is like The Fifth Agreement by Don Miguel Ruiz. I don't know if you've done these concepts, but The Four Agreements is like, it's kind of like just require re reading. It's, it's sort of real just basic like, here's how to think about thinking. Ken Wilber, not real basic. No Boundary, apparently this is a good bit book to start on with him. And then the thing that's fucking killing me right now. This is not gonna be interesting. None of these are gonna be interesting to the vast majority of you. Don't know why I'm even going on them. But dude, a, li a friend of the show like put me on to, to this and I'm just reading it like crazy. It's only for you people who are experimenting with plant medicines and who might be a little uncomfortable with calling them plant medicines. But this is like my, you know, light reading for the for the day. I wanted to get out and get some stuff. And so I actually had those just sitting on top of the Bluetooth headphones because I was actually, I, I would need to get that. I would be, the thing is I would, re, I would sit down and pick up one of these books if it was right there. But if it was the other way around where I had my headphones and my smoke stack put on top of these books, right? And those are down there. That's how I would prefer to carry it, except for the fact that then getting one of those books out actually requires me to take things 
out and then get the book that I want. Let's get this one and then put them back. And I just find that little moments like that, like it's cool when I'm really away from home or when I'm really, you know, you, when you're really away from home and you're really out of the house and you're like not going home for a while and there's no car in sight that belongs to you. You can Uber somewhere, but that costs money. In that situation, I don't really mind if my bag's too packed out because I'm like, listen, dude, we're fucking rambling right now. Like we're on a stroll. But when I'm in daily mode where I'm just like, hey, today I've got a goal for this, that, and the other. Like I just wanna, I wanna be able to reach in and grab the things that I want. So this 20 liter capacity can feel a little bit tight or a little bit cumbersome when you're packing it out with multiple level, level layers or whatever. You have a lot of different stuff in there. So just know about that. Some of you already know you carry lightly every day. You're just checking in to see if this is the right kind of bag for you. I hope you see that it might be. Typical Bellroy delight. Soft nylon webbing in the handles, okay? We've got this burly, drapey, nice material that is that is that performs really well. Water resistance, dirt, all that stuff just comes right off. Big zipper here on the top, which is metal and nice with these with these leather zipper pulls, which is it, it, like just a nice little touch. All of their leather is certified something. I'm not sure what the certification is, but they're a conscientious B corporation. This is what sometimes can be hard to remember about Bellroy, is that they as a B corporation are like, according to, to be able to be a B corp, they have to do some things that are, that are good for the environment as well or something like that. But they've got values in the realm of sustainability. So how they choose their materials, which materials they go with, they've been considered. I don't know all the details. I don't know where the leather actually comes from. They just say that it's been considered. Your hands will recognize the delight of this uh, of this product of this almost like a it's almost like a person. Um, the the oh this this mesh. This lining mesh on the on the backside of the straps. Sen I mean it. It's such a silly thing, but you notice it when you put it on. It moves and slides and glides without catching, which is nice. But uh, and then the padding inside of here just again feels solid. The way this webbing comes up, little leather strap here that I don't know. Just more typical Bellroy delight. Okay, so my two really big things I want you to know about this bag, besides all of the exciting that I love, I just, when I was younger, like I could, I could have just dreamed of a bag like this. I just would have never been, there was nothing like it out there. Uh, if there was, I would have never been able to hear about it. So I like this shape, I like this size. When I was a creative director at agencies, this would have been like, dude, let's fucking, it's, I think it has a more of a feminine vibe. Some, like, what do you think? You think it's a little more for women than for men? potentially, but depending on what I'm wearing, this fits in just perfectly. But there's two caveats I just want you to know about. Number one is that it's got a little bit of poor visibility. Like I showed you with the books down below or the books on top, you can't really see what's going on around there, right? So you, you're you gonna feel in with your hands. You get What's good about the top of the bag is those two side pockets, segment some shit out of the middle of the bag, your laptop, your tablet, your mesh pocket, all that pulls stuff up and then you can have bigger items down at the bottom. But first of all, you have just a little bit of low visibility and then second of all, the capacity is tight and when it's packed out really, really full, everything stops being a, like as fun on this bag. When it's really packed out, getting to that thing at the bottom requires more taking stuff out. Getting your water bottle in and out, getting your laptop in and out, opening up these when there's pressure from the other side and everything's smushed in the pockets. So just be aware of that. That isn't unique to this bag, that's every single bag. Shout out to any of you who have ever packed a bag too much and then went on a long trip and then realized, oh my God, my life is suffering. Not overpacking your bag is one of the big tips in daily carry and travel alike. Okay, like I said, this is going on the business backpack page. I'll put a link to that below right now at this time code. And a couple I want you to check out. Breton or Breton. I happen to have this one back here. This one, very similar. You know, look at that. Hey, look at that. This one has a little more of a 
Like, it almost feels like a little more Southern gentleman. A little bit more like, well, how do you do, ma'am? Uh, a little bit more visibility because it opens up. I got a whole video and review on that on that page. Now, a little less businessy, a little more casual, but a lot more size is there, actually I wouldn't say a lot, but quite, a, but a bit more size, is their shift. This is the one with MAP, M-A-A-A-P, M-A-A-A-A-P, where, which has been upgraded for like biking and stuff like this. This thing is sick. Same material. Looks, but it's got the, uh, it's, you can't, it's not a tote, it's just a roll top. Check that out on the matterful.co daily carry page. I'll put a link to this in the description below. Then also on that business page, the, the Baron Fig bag, which is like, which is tight and small and classy, uh, but a little more earthy than this potentially, right? A little less, uh, I don't know, just a little more earthy. So there's a lot of bags for you to compare this to. But I really like this pack. I loved using it. I'm, I've loved using it just because all the interactions with the strap, the handle, just having the, the just enough space for the small daily carry uh, has been awesome. And I know that it's gonna make a lot of you gonna make a lot of you happy on the day to day, man. And isn't that just what it's all about, you guys? A little more ease, a little more satisfaction, a little more success in the day to day. Thanks for watching. I know you have a lot of options when you fly the friendly skies of YouTube, so thank you for your attention. I hope that I answered your question about this bag. Feel free to ask questions below in the YouTube comments and hey, if you liked this i mean i know you you might have hated this you might have been like i can't believe but then why are you still here if you're still here let's take this relationship to the next level why don't we why don't you go come over to instagram and follow along over there well at least you'll at least see my creative use of the poop emoji in my instagram stories find care take care serve hard and dig in thanks for watching thanks for your time big love Bye bye